Let's meet our first employee. We'll call him Blue. Now let's meet another employee. We'll call her Orange. Blue and Orange are accountants who work in the same agency. Their job duties are the same. They both examine, analyze, and interpret accounting records so they can give advice and prepare statements. They also maintain petty cash funds, maintain fixed assets on Wolf's, and review and approve Department Wolf's documents for AP and AR. Now let's practice setting a target range for Blue and Orange. Because they have similar job duties, they should be evaluated at the same target ranges. Let's practice setting a target range for communication. First, let's review the definition of communication, which is included in the supervisor planning form. Communication is defined as delivering clear, timely, effective transmission of information and taking responsibility for understanding others. Using skill in presenting information, analysis, ideas, and positions in a clear, concise, accurate, and convincing manner, as is appropriate for the audience. Recognizing the individual's role as a representative of the state of Wyoming and not presenting personal views. Now let's look at target ranges for communication. There are five ranges, A through E, which represent increasing levels of competence. Let's consider each target range, starting with the minimum expectations for communication laid out in target range A. A position that is set to this target range asks that an employee ensures that regular transmission of information occurs based on the need of work, the individual, management, or situation, listens actively, asks clarifying questions, and summarizes or paraphrases what others have said to verify understanding, and asks appropriate questions. Because target range A is the minimum expectation for any employee, this could definitely apply. But let's take a look at the rest of the target ranges. Target range B represents the next level of competence. A position that is set to this target range for communication asks that an employee readily, clearly, and effectively conveys information, ensuring it is understandable, as evidenced by the reactions of the recipients, and thinks through what is to be communicated and organizes thoughts and ideas. Considering that blue and orange need to prepare statements, this target range applies as well, because that task requires that they convey information in a clear, understandable, and organized manner. Let's take a look at target range C next. Target range C represents an intermediate level of competence. A position that is set to this target range for communication requires that an employee uses a variety of techniques to tailor transmission of information to specific audiences, understands, organizes, and analyzes what one hears and reads to decide what to think and do in response to a message, organizes work in a manner that is clear and easy to follow, commands attention, and achieves desired results. This target range does not fit Blue and Orange's job duties because their daily work is focused in structured computer databases. And they don't need to utilize a variety of communication strategies or tailor their communication to various audiences. So far, we've determined that Blue and Orange's positions can be expected to meet target range B, but not target range C. Just to be sure we haven't overlooked anything, let's look at target ranges D and E. Target range D represents an advanced level of competence, and a position set to this target range for communication can be expected to identify and use effective communication channels and methods, identify barriers, and apply systematic sets of procedures to eliminate or reduce problems and implement the most appropriate course of action. Target range D does not match Blue and Orange's job duties because they are not expected to identify communication barriers or determine appropriate courses of action, as expected in target range D. Target range E represents the highest level of competence and should be assigned to those positions that provide direction and leadership. After considering each of the target ranges for communication, we can see that target range B is the best fit for Blue and Orange's job duties. Please note that we didn't select target range A because that represents a lower level of expectation and target ranges should always be set to represent the optimum performance target. To finish the process of setting target ranges, the same process of considering each target range should now be repeated for the next four competencies, which are customer service, judgment and decision making, team player, and personal effectiveness. The last two competencies, leadership and developing others, are reserved for supervisors and do not apply to blue and orange.